What if I told you that the kingdom of God is within you? Matter of fact, the Lord Jesus Christ says in Matthew chapter 23, verse 13, Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You don't let anyone enter into the kingdom now that you go in yourselves. You think he was talking about a golden city up in the north? Absolutely not. This is talking about entering within you to realize that the kingdom of God is already dwelling within you. That leads us to the seven churches. What are the seven churches according to Revelation chapter 1 verse 20? The mystery of the seven stars and the seven candlesticks that you saw on my right hand is the understanding that the Alpha and the Omega was in fact holding the seven churches which were the seven candlesticks and the seven stars which are in fact the angels of God or the angels. You see, in John chapter 1, at the very end, when Nathanael says, Lord, I know that you're the Messiah. You saw me under the fig tree. Jesus says, Nathanael, if you believe that I'm the Messiah because of this, watch how the angels ascend and descend upon the Son of Man. What is Jesus talking about here? He's talking about the very thing that's going on with the stars, which are the angels of God over the seven churches. It's funny how the word angels is angles. When a white light refracts into our world, it creates a separation of seven different colors. That's right, the seven seals, the seven chakras, all the way from red all the way up to purple. This is in fact the seven angles, angels, the seven stars. Now the seven churches are the seven candlesticks. This involves Ephesus, Smyrna, Pergamos, Thyatira, Sardis, Philadelphia, and Laodicea. This goes all the way from the sacrum, which at six years old of age, your sacrum fuses into five into one. This is a representation of your five senses coming into unity and wholeness. Whereas you have Smyrna, you have Pergamos, Thyatira, which is your heart. You have Sardis, which is your throat. You have Philadelphia, which is in your head. And finally, Laodicea, which actually happens to be Peniel, the place where you shall see God face to face. And every eye shall see God face to face. If you guys want me to go over a more in-depth understanding on the seven churches, I will be more than happy to do so and show you how it has to deal with the seven parts of your body, which actually includes the seven chakras, the seven seals, the seven candlesticks, the seven stars, and in fact, the seven eyes of the Lamb of God. But you got to wait until we get to that part, because that's one of the most exciting right there. Anyways, when we realize that the kingdom of God is within us, when we realize and we understand and we awaken to this, heaven shall come because it starts with the inside of the cup. The inside must be made clean before the outside can be made clean. Everyone's focusing on outward matters. This is not the case. The book of Revelation is an esoteric book. It's a book that leads you unto the kingdom of God. And where is that? Just like the Lord Jesus Christ said, the kingdom of God is within you and it does not come with physical observation. But when you clean the inside of the cup, and everything is made clean, and we are all on the right track, and we love our neighbor as we love the Lord, our God, ourselves, then heaven will come to earth. God bless you guys. I love you. You have a great evening.